Greeting members of the Oakland Stake. I'm reaching out to provide an update on our efforts to reopen our meeting houses for activities and worship. As you know, recently both Alameda and Contra Costa counties moved into the red tier. Red tier means that we may hold sacrament meetings indoors, but with attendance limited to 25% of the capacities of our chapels. A few of our wards already have begun to broadcast their sacrament meetings from inside their chapels, albeit with only a few dozen members attending in person. Several more wards plan to start broadcasting their sacrament meetings from their chapels over the next few weeks. In addition, those wards with youth programs plan to resume in-person youth activities on a limited scale. Please remember that in-person attendance at sacrament meetings must be limited to 25% of capacity. For most of our chapels, that means no more than 50 or 60 members. Some wards will allocate space using a sign-up process. Others will do it using last names. In all cases, we encourage members who are in a high-risk category or who might feel uncomfortable attending to continue to participate by in our meetings online. Those who attend in person will need to observe social distancing, wear masks, and follow all of the protocols established by state and county officials. The health and safety of our members must be our greatest concern. We're not willing to take risks with the lives of our members, especially those members who already are at higher risk due to their status as essential workers or due to health or age concerns. In addition, please understand that each ward will proceed at a slightly different pace. Each ward has different demographics and unique needs and considerations. Some wards have their own buildings, others must share. Please be patient as your bishops figure out the best timetable and process for your individual wards. These initial in-person meetings will help us learn more about the steps we will need to take to maintain the high standards of cleanliness and social distancing needed to comply with county and church requirements. They will also help us prepare for the time, hopefully soon, when we move into the orange tier and in-person attendance is allowed to increase. We will continue to proceed in a measured and cautious and gradual way, and I will continue to provide updates as circumstances change and as we are allowed to increase activity within our buildings. That said, I'm excited to think about attending church in person. I'm thrilled as I think about seeing you in person after a year apart. I'm amazed at your continued diligence and faithfulness. I'm grateful for your selfless service and good examples. I look forward to seeing you soon.